Hey guys, welcome back to Be Creative. Today I am going to be making three tags using up some gel prints that I've been sitting on. Y'all, I have so many gel prints. It's ridiculous. I took a whole bunch, tore them all into pieces, collaged them all together, and then stamped over top of them with the Dina Wakely Always Flower set. It's new to me, um, though it is not new. I am obsessed with it. I like it's showing up everywhere. I can't get enough. So I have three of the roses and then three of the other flowers and I'm trying to figure out which flower I want to use for what tag. If you are currently asking yourself, is that a picture of Bill Clinton on that tag? You would be correct. That is a tag that I used an image transfer on my gel print uh, poorly, but it's still like discernible. You can still make him out. Um, and I've been sitting on it for a while. So I was like, you know what? let's make a tag using Bill and let, you know, I don't know, it worked. Anyway, I have some torn up pieces of Atlas paper and some torn up book paper. And what you're seeing right now is me trying to just figure out how to, to arrange everything. I am gluing it down once I've got it sorted with some of that Dilutions collage uh, glue stick. And honestly, out of all of my glue, that's probably in my top three. So, now I need to add, like I need to tone that down a little bit. And originally I had thought, well, a wet baby wipe will work. That's, that'll, that'll be perfect. But no, as always, I'm going to go in with my finger and then I'm going to go over it with the wet baby wipe to just kind of smooth some of it out. This tag out of all three was uh, a little bit more challenging because I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I could not get my craft supplies to do what I wanted. And this is an exercise in stubborn crafting. If you guys are ever curious to see what a stubborn crafter looks like, uh, behold. I'm doing a, a stencil technique where you take the stencil on a wet baby wipe, wipe and you pull up the ink through, or excuse me, the paint through the stencil. But because the color wasn't dark enough, you couldn't really see the, the reduction. I think that's what it's called. I think it's called a reduction. So I'm going back over all of that that I had just done with some Dina Wakely heavy body paint in marine which is a much darker color and it's such a pretty blue I think it goes well with almost everything now I'm doing the paint reduction technique and you can see it but because I'm stubborn and I want some of that carnation in there I'm going back and I'm adding some more with my finger if you guys watch a lot of my videos you know that I use my finger for pretty much everything um, it's a wonder that it it doesn't it's not just like permanently painted so you can see the carnation still did not work I don't know why I thought it would be different so I had to go back over it with some more of that marine and now I've kind of resigned myself to just using the marine now I have this really pretty background and I'm still deliberating oh nope I've decided on that one and I have yet some more book paper because you can't really see the the atlas. You can see the atlas more than you can see the book paper underneath. So I need to tone that down just a smidge. So I'm just adding some gesso over the text uh, so you can barely make out the words. Then once that is good and dry, I'm gonna I'm gonna get all that glue down. Oh no, actually first we're gonna edge the tag. I broke down and my mom Thanks, Mom, because she watches all my videos. Got me the uh, edge distressor from Tim Holtz because I've been complaining about using sandpaper. It works. It works way better than sandpaper. Once I get that edge kind of tore up, I'm going to ink it. And now we're gluing down the book paper. And again, using that distress collage medium. I have found that it doesn't warp my paper as much as using a liquid adhesive. So I'm trying to remember to use it more. Once I get that good and glued down, like so, because I, I missed some, apparently, we're going to move on to tag number two. Yep, tag number one is done, so now we're starting tag number two. That is another gel printed tag where I was experimenting with something. It clearly turned out poorly. That's okay. Um, and I wanted, I wanted to do each tag, because I did these as a series, with a different uh, flower. So this is the second flower that's in that set. And I like the colors, but I don't, I don't want the shape of all that. So again, using my finger, I'm going in with some more of her paints. I believe that is Peacock Sky, I think. I think it's Sky. 
And I'm kind of doing the same thing that I did on the first tag. I clearly haven't learned my lesson uh, because I'm going back in with that carnation. It's just such a pretty color. Like, I just want to use it the way that I want to use it. That was super whiny. I am so sorry about that. Now I'm going in with some, some yellow. I think that's called lemon. And it's making this really pretty green color. And I'm starting to dig what's going on. It's kind of messy. I'm going to try that same uh, paint removal technique through the stencil. And mm, not... I wasn't crazy about that. When in doubt, make sure you jiggle your tag like so. Uh, that seems to help make a be a deciding factor in what's new. I'm adding a little bit of shimmer because I want to cover up those uh, those chevrons, and uh, I believe that is Penny. I think that's the name of it. I don't know. Check the description box below for a list of the full supplies. I have my two uh, flowers, and the background is actually really pretty, but I need. I need some white in it. I it just mm, I don't know. It just wasn't finished. So I have some of that Jane Davenport squid ink, which typically I love, but for some reason the white in this particular instance was not. It was fighting me. Like I had to really get in there on that stamp pad to like I was giving it CPR almost to get some ink up. I don't know if I'm storing them right or if they're starting to dry out because I don't use them very often. I need to I need to use my things now I'm trying to find a background for this uh, I, I see I tried several different things I I tried this yellow collage thing for quite some time and before I finally am just gonna give up because for the life of me I just cannot make it work I mean I tried hard like I'm really trying finally I found a gel piece of gel printed piece of paper that is this like shocking purple I think that's delusions ink if I'm not mistaken and I was like yes so I am tearing the paper and I'm specifically leaving the white core showing because I want to ink the edges of the paper up and I want I want like a really good uh, background no sorry I want like a really good black edge to this paper and I can't do that if I don't have enough paper to ink so that's what I'm doing here and see it gets really messy but I'm using the black soot distress ink because that is such a great black and I'll get that really nice uh, black obviously anyway so I have finally figured out how I'm going to arrange that and it's it's good but it needs just a little something so I'm using a torn piece of music book paper that I'm I'm hoarding because it's the only one I have it's from like 1864 and before anybody freaks out because I've been tearing it up it was so waterlogged when we bought it at the yard sale like there was no way it was worth anything I have decided however that I'm gonna scan in some of the really nice pages that I don't you know I don't want to like use once and never be able to use again so that I can print them out and keep using them because it's like the perfect distressed looking music book like it's just it's just perfect I'm sorry I'm like having a love affair with this music book I'm gonna get all of that glued down and now I'm adding those two little collage flowers over top and I think that the purple in the back gave it the right amount of pop so that the flowers didn't blend in with with the background because it appears I inadvertently made a background in the same style as the collage that I did to uh, to make those two little flowers that was unintentional so now we're gonna move on to our third and final tag that was a previously gel printed tag again much like that second one it was really busy in the background and I didn't really want to do a lot to it but I knew I wanted to do something to it and I just happened to have like the perfect size piece of music paper and I was like oh okay well you know what this is this is working we're gonna go with this um confession sometimes I feel guilty I'm like is it is it even really art then like can I say that I created this if I just glued stuff down I don't know I'll reflect on that later so I am just actually just gluing stuff down right now I didn't even ink the edges of that music paper it just looked good the way that it was can I you know can I blame myself if my art supplies just basically throw themselves at me and say here I'm perfect use me as I am 
No, I don't think I can. You know what? They're reflected. Okay, so this part right here, uh, real talk, I was ridiculous. I got these little paper clips and I wanted so bad to use them on a tag. There was the whole reason I got them. I tried so hard to get this little paper clip on this tag. I thought, well, I'll cover the top of it up because I don't even use it like a tag anyway. And then I'm like, well, no, I'll try to like stick it to the side and do something with it. And it was super fiddly, so I couldn't get it stuck down. And then I decided to just do this. I just stuck it down with some foam adhesive, and then I moved on. But I am going to be able to use it with this tag, so it all worked out in the end. As you may have noticed, I'm using the Dina Wakely uh, sentiments from the Scribbly Flower Set, Bloom, Paint, and Grow. And I wanted something that had like a sketch feel to it with this tag, and the paper clip was perfect. See guys, see what happens when you don't force things and you, you just let stuff happen organically. This last tag, I did the same thing. I stuck a piece of book paper down over top of a just scrap piece of gel print, uh, stamped down the sentiment bloom, and I'm going to adhere it with some more of those foam adhesives. And here we have it. We have our three finished tags. We have Grow. We have Bloom. Yeah, I think that one's my favorite. And we have Paint. I don't know, maybe that one. Which one is your favorite? I would love to hear in the comments below. Well, thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.